Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the latest feature or the recent feature which is launched by Azure in the ADF, that is the data factory, about the billing. So earlier, we used to see the billing in the cost analysis or the billing report per data factory level. Now, they have introduced the concept of per pipeline level billing view. Okay, so this is the official page. I'll share the link in the description about the granular billing for the Azure Data Factory. It is by the author. So in this article, they have demonstrated like how this new feature is introduced and how we can view it in the ADF. How to opt in for this option and I will demo it here in this video too. So this is the article and it was published on October 17th this month only. So this is the latest update by the ADF regarding the cost analysis or the billing per pipeline level. Let's go to the data factory. So here is my portal and we'll go to the subscription first and then open the subscription. And here in the left panel, you can see the icon under cost management as cost analysis. Click on it. And when this page opens the cost analysis at the right side, you could see, you could see this try preview option. Okay. So you need to click on try preview. Okay. Now this try preview is clicked and it will show up the cost management labs on this right side. So we have to enable all the options. These are the features which we want to see in the preview cost analysis. So we'll check all these features. Okay, and then we'll click close. Okay, once we click close, it will ask us to reopen the cost analysis page. And here you can clearly see under the cost uh, management, there is only one cost analysis icon showing up. Once we enable this, we will see another icon. So let's do it. Let's click on close. So it has given us a prompt that reopen cost management. Please close and reopen to see changes takes effect. Okay, so here itself, we have the hyperlink. We'll click on it. So upon clicking, let's see that under the cost management, we have got cost analysis preview. We will click over cost analysis preview. But before clicking on the preview, let's first go to the data factory to enable the setting, the factory settings to get the cost details per pipeline basis. So let's go to the data factory. Here is my data factory, ADF cloud knowledge. We'll go to the manage section here. We'll go to the manage and here under the general tab, we have the factory settings. Okay. So under the uh, general tab, click on the factory settings and under the factory settings, you can see show billing report. It is in preview. Okay. So by default, if you have not enabled it, it will be uh, checked here by factory level. Now we have to change it to by pipeline level. And then once you click on the pipeline level, you will just publish the change. Okay. So publish the change and these settings will be published. Okay, for your data factory. So once this factory settings uh, is published in the data factory, we have to wait for about a day or 24 hours to get the changes reflected in the new cost analysis preview. Okay, if we go to the uh, article, the official article for the granular billing and under the comment section, we could see that the user has the comment that the changes will come in 24 hours. Okay. So the pipelines, once uh, the setting is enabled at the data factory level and we have uh, the, this cost management under the subscription, we could see the changes after 24 hours. So we should wait after setting the factory settings in the ADF. So earlier, what used to be there uh, under the old model of the cost analysis, if we go to the normal cost analysis tab, we could apply the additional filter along with the invoice uh, duration about different filters are there so we could select the service okay or the resource so let's say we have selected the resource and wanted to see for the for my data factory the billing okay so the billing details will show up for this invoice date along with the details the chart etc so for this uh, subscription i do not have uh, factory settings enabled uh, 
and 24 hours have not passed so i'll go to the existing subscription which has the setting enabled and uh, the pipeline level details are already shown there so we'll switch back to the subscription where it is enabled so we'll again go to the cost analysis we'll go for the try preview we will enable the new features option all the options will enable and then we will reopen the cost management and we'll go to the cost analysis preview let's wait for the preview to get loaded and then here we have three options services level resource group and the resources so we'll click on the resources and this is showing up for the october month here we can select whichever month we want to see the details here so here there we have here we have the filter rows option here we'll write the resource name at the bottom we'll see the resource so just click on the resource and here that we have got the details about this data factory and the pipelines which are there so okay uh, so the screen will flicker a little because it is refreshing we could see that this is my data factory and the three pipelines are there along with the type resource group location subscription tags and the total cost so which pipeline is taking what cost it is mentioned here one important thing is that this granular billing is recently introduced and it has some known limitations and the report behavior so it is evolving so there will be uh, new changes or uh, enhancements coming up in this so you just need to go through this page for more details about the report behaviors and uh, the way to opt in which i've already demonstrated but you can still go to this feature and uh, the known limitations uh, there are few limitations too so this will help you the only point which is uh, uh, to be noticed is that the change will reflect after 24 hours maybe they will improve this timing too uh, gradually but this is the overall uh, overview of the granular billing details per pipeline level which is recently introduced by the azure hope you have got the idea of enabling per pipeline level billing view in cost analysis thank you for watching happy learning bye